Hey, Mr. Shear, it's your opportunity now. Well, conservatives have always recognized uh, the importance of working with provinces. We respect provincial jurisdiction, but we also understand that it will take federal leadership to get certain things done, like interprovincial free trade, something that Mr. Trudeau has failed to accomplish. But one thing I can promise voters across the country is that premiers won't have to take a conservative government to court to fight things like the carbon tax. And Mr. Trudeau has imposed his carbon tax on provinces that don't want to go along with his high cost scheme. This carbon tax is increasing the cost of everyday essentials like gasoline, home heating and groceries. And it will only go up after the next election. He is refusing to tell Canadians how high his carbon tax will go if he's re-elected. The conservative government under my leadership will scrap the carbon tax. We start with Conservative leader Andrew Scheer. You may pick any leader of your choice and ask any question <clears throat> of your choosing. <laughs> you have 30 seconds. Mr. Trudeau, you broke ethics laws twice. You interfered in an ongoing criminal court proceeding. You shut down parliamentary investigations into your corruption, and you fired the only two people in your caucus who were speaking out against what you were trying to do just for telling the truth. Tell me, when did you decide that the rules don't apply to you? No, you're making things up again. Half of your platform isn't even costed. You are making announcements without any details and without any numbers. And that you aren't telling Canadians untrue, how you're going to pay for you're it. You're the one who is hiding your platform from Canadians. But we know that taxes will Canadians. go up under your government if you are re-elected. We lowered you taxes talk about, for the middle class we started off talking and raised them on the wealthiest 1% and, and you voted you against you looked them. looked Canadians in the eye and you said that the allegations in the Globe and Mail were false. You said Jody Wilson-Raybould never were false. came to you. You said you never put pressure on her. We now know that those were all lies. Uh, Ms. Mr. Trudeau, sorry. Thank you. We all remember 10 years of Stephen Harper, who did not respect Indigenous rights, did not in respect Indigenous peoples. And Mr. Scheer, you're putting forward exactly the same plan that didn't just fail Indigenous peoples, didn't just fail Indigenous communities uh, and their kids, but they also failed to get important energy projects built. We need to keep moving forward in a way that respects Indigenous peoples, respects that there's going to be a, a range of views, but is grounded in the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples that you have consistently blocked uh, through your party's actions. I, that is not respect for Indigenous peoples. Perry Bellegarde, the Grand Chief, of the, uh, the uh, uh, head of the Assembly of First Nations, has said that no government has done more so, for Indigenous peoples than this government, so I and have, he's one of your constituents, have, Mr. Scheer. That's right. He comes from uh, Little Black in my, love in to my talk to you. He, I, he he's got me my to phone number. Give you a phone call I, I have nothing to learn from Mr. Trudeau, who fired the first Indigenous Attorney General for doing her job. She said that she would do politics differently, and you fired her when she did. And you want to talk about getting pipelines built? The, you've cancelled two pipelines, and the one you bought, you can't build. You've let tens of thousands of people in Alberta and Saskatchewan down, and you have failed, and you have failed to recognize that Indigenous communities so, okay. are hurt by I, this as I well. I am accepting Sorry, the fact that I'm going to be attacked for uh, not you. building pipelines pipelines from some and for building pipelines we'll for others getting any and the balance we need to I take think we'll is be doing talking the right about this one for the public You're doing we uh, cut taxes uh, for small businesses to 9% uh, we cut taxes for Canadians we know that tax breaks for wealthy do not work to grow the economy 10 years of Mr Harper's failure has done that and yet Mr Shears platform, what we've seen of it, because most of it is still secret and will remain secret, apparently, like Doug Ford, that didn't work out so well for Ontarians, um, <clears throat> is to reduce taxes for the wealthiest Canadians, the multimillionaires, by $50,000, which is more money than most Canadians make Ra wrap in a year. It up. Why the $50,000 tax Mr. Shear, tax you have one minute to wealthiest. respond, Mr. Shear. First of all, Mr. Trudeau, you seem to be oddly obsessed with provincial politics. There is a vacancy for the Ontario Liberal leadership, and if you are so focused on provincial politics, go and run for the leadership of that party, Mr. Trudeau. Secondly, your tax heights hack, your tax policy has meant that 80% of Canadian families pay higher taxes today than That's when you first true. took office. That is exactly true. That, that was a conservative principle that liberals people. fought against, that you fought against. You your signature against, achievement Scheer. was taking a conservative idea to send support so directly to parents. why did you vote against parents. it, Mr. I voted against your tax hikes on Canadians, you Mr. Trudeau. That's what Canada I was voting against. No, I did okay. not. Gentlemen, one at a time.
time, one at a time. We are committed to protecting the ch the, that benefit because it is based on a conservative principle. You're but we are going to Mr. Trudeau, this is supposed to be Mr. Shear's we answer. We're going to move into open taxes debate. For all Canadians with a universal tax cut, we're going to bring back the children's sports that's it. and fitness. We've got three minutes on this open debate. Starting with me. Yes, that's right, sir. Okay. Off you go. Mr. Shear, you did Mr. not Trudeau. answer the question First. on why you are lowering taxes by $50,000 for multimillionaires in this country. Maybe you'll answer it tomorrow in the press conference, but you haven't answered it tonight. That is just not true. You haven't answered a question your entire time as Prime Minister. I've sat across I, you. You uh, never answer a I question. Answered I answered more questions your uh, in, question the, in, very, in, very in uh, the House of Commons. I am rolling Mr. Trudeau, let Mr. Shear finish, please. Mr. Trudeau. I am rolling. <laughs> back your tax hikes on entrepreneurs, on small business. You called them tax cheats.